Hi there, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about Netlify Forms and all the cool things you can do with it and some gotchas that you might run into if you're using it with Svelte or something like Reactor View. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna talk about. First, I'm gonna show you a basic Netlify form, how to do success page, honeypot, recaptcha, and then Netlify form with Svelte. Okay, so this is the Netlify form with Svelte. Let me show you what it's doing. Um, but first, oh, by the way, I'm using nes.css um, for the CSS. Um, let me show you what I have here in the site. So here I am, Svelte Dummy. This is the site. I add a new site from Git. This is my Git repo that I'm working in, in here. And I hooked that up with this. And now I am in here. And I came and I changed the name, change name to Fun Forms. Now let me show you the actual forms part. So here we've got a forms uh, button section. And we got nice form and mean form. So, so far there's no submissions. But this corresponds to nice is this one right here. And then the mean one is go home, give me your data, this one right here. So they're both a little bit different. And let me go through both of them and show you what's happening. So this one, the mean form, asking for email at a.com, which is your favorite. I'll say Ember, obviously. And then thoughts on anything? No. Okay, And then here, this one has a recapture. So uh, this is just like three lines of HTML that adds this in here. And these are these can be pretty annoying, but if you absolutely need to make sure no robots are submitting forms, then this is probably the most secure. Okay, so now I submit, and I'm redirected to this custom success page that I made. Okay, now if we go back to this form, this is the Svelte app form, so we've got a bit of functionality, dark mode. Um, how are you today? Good, good, uh, great. Submit that, and this is just the generic success form if you don't set that up yourself. Okay, so this one here, you'll notice there's no recapture, but it still is filtering spam by using Honeypot, which is like an empty, a hidden input that bots will fill out. But I'll get to that in a second. So how do we do all this? So here I have my localhost running, and I've added this HTML file, which is not, I haven't committed it yet. So if I go to example, it's not there. But here if I go to localhost, and I go to example, then it's right here. And also notice here, I'm using different HTML pages. This is another way to do routing, uh, which I guess is more old school and not really SPA app type routing, but you can do this. Um, anyway, so basic Netlify form. So I've got a form and the things you need to do is, well, for one, give it a something to put in. So I'll just do the very basics um, and it needs a name so that the form knows what to label it. So name is just gonna be something. So this is the most basic form. All you have to do is say method equals post, and you have to give the form a name. So name equals example. And then with this form, all you have to do is add Netlify right there. Okay, so I am going to git add everything, git commit my example and then git push origin master. Okay, and then in maybe 15 seconds or so, this will be hosted, or this will be pushed up here. Okay, so here it is deployed example, and this is our little tiny form right here. Oh, and I, crap, I forgot to put a, a button to actually submit the form. So I'm gonna do document.query selector form dot submit. Okay, once I say hi. Okay, I'm gonna submit it. Cool, and now I get this thank you, form submission has been received. So this is just the generic thing. And you'll see here in my forms, I now have an example form that we just added and I just got the submission, hi, cool. And here's giving a warning to prevent spam. So we wanna add either honeypot or recapture to challenge. So another thing, if we don't want that generic um, thank you page, we can add an action on here. And this is just gonna to go to the page that we want, like once it's submitted, it to go. So success, that's this page here with all the uh, coins and stuff. Okay, so this is how we get a success page. You just add an action. And this is how you make it work with Netlify, you just add this. So if you want to add spam, which you probably do, spam filtering, you can do honeypot or recapture it. Okay, so here are the docs for spam filtering. So we've got Honeypot right here. This is the least intrusive to your user. So your user won't even notice that this is happening. We add something like this into our form. So let me come back to example. 
and put this right here. Don't fill this out if you're human. Input name equals bot field. And then right here, Netlify dash honeypot bot field. Okay, so we're going to add this right there. And I will add that and commit add honeypot. And actually, we might as well just go ahead and add the recapture also. So recapture to challenge. So I don't think there's a reason to have both of them. Um, I could be wrong. I guess it's extra protection, but um, I wouldn't think it's necessary. So data, data Netlify recapture. So we're going to add that to the form. And then for this, you have to add in a div like this with the same name, Datafy Netlify or Data Netlify recapture. So I'll put this here at the end. And of course, we want a button to submit. OK, let me add that again. Let's give it the name. Same. OK, and then we're going to get push origin master. OK, so this will add Honeypot to it and the recapture. So as you can see, it's super simple to do. Um, I will show you what that looks like in a second. The last thing we're going to do is Netlify form with Svelte, which is a bit more complicated. So in fact, you probably don't really want to do this. Um, you can do it, but it's just kind of a pain. So I'd, I would suggest doing it with something like Sapper or Routify with server-side rendering because, um, see, this is just an HTML page. So the bots can look at it and find this, this tag and then add its little functionality. But if it's a JavaScript rendered um, app, then it, the bots won't be able to find this and add their functionality. So I'll show you that in a second. Uh, here, fun forms example, refresh that. Oh, that was stupid. So yeah, you'll see this will show up because I didn't actually give this class hidden. So I'm just going to do style display is none. So that should work. Then we don't need this class is hidden. Um, OK, cool. So last thing, the confusing thing with um, Svelte, using Netlify form with Svelte, what you have to do is add the form into the HTML file as well as in your Svelte code. So here, I have form name equals nice, method equals post, and you'll notice there's no Netlify or anything. OK, and I have this honeypot here. So this right here, input type equals hidden, name equals form name value equals nice. So this corresponds to the name of the form. And then I have to put this form basically on the HTML page too. So usually there's nothing in here, right? It's just body because you're just pulling in the Svelte code. But here I have to add this Netlify, Netlify honeypot, um, the form with the corresponding names. So the names need to be the same. So for example, how are you? All these names have to be the same, and the name of the form has to be the same. So it's kind of confusing. I hope that makes sense. Um, you can look at the code to kind of compare. So see, these names are the exact same. One, two, three. And um, I also have to include this input, which was really confusing to me, um, to make it so that this form knows um, about the other form. And another thing I did was remove, in app.svel, I remove the hidden form, because um, that's what this is. Uh, where did it go? In app.html, this form is hidden. So I just remove it from the document, because the Netlify bots already looked at it. They said, OK, we've got a form with name of nice, and it has certain, you know, it's got a honeypot and all that. It, it sets it all up for you, and then your Svelte form comes along and says, hey, here I am, fill me out, submit me, and then voila, it should work. OK, that was a bit confusing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions with the Svelte um, forms. I would just use Sapper, or better yet, just put your forms in just like an HTML. So there's nothing wrong with this. Just like have an index.html as your home page or something. And then maybe once the user logs in, you, you take them to like slash app or something, and then have your Svelte app in here without any forms. OK, cool. So I think that is all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, if you've used Netlify forms or anything. I want to start um, doing more on Netlify, like identity functions, 
and stuff like that at split testing analytics. Okay, anyway, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.